guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to be working on my Nissan Suburban again. It's 2003 Chevrolet Suburban. And this is an issue that she's having. Here, let's start this up. Um, like when you go to pull it down into gear, okay, when you put it back up in park, it doesn't want to go back in. It's supposed to go back that way. You got to push it. So we're going to check the cables and see what's going on. And uh, I'll bring you down under there with me and I'll film what I can film for you. Okay guys, like I said, see this is way down. It should be about right there, but it's actually neutral there. But when you put it, there's reverse. There's park. It's pretty sloppy, but you have to push it up and then back and uh, check in the lights on again. But that's okay. We know what it is. She's picking up the part today. Okay, guys. If you see a cut here, it's because I was not in frame 90% of the time. So I thought I'd re-show you this. Okay what we're looking at here alright this this is the linkage on the transmission neutral safety switch and reverse lights I see monkey feet over there hi monkey and then uh, a lot of times what you can look for is this bracket right here Sometimes it'll come loose and it'll cause issues. This one feels tight. Now it comes around. Clear. Over here. On top. And it loops back over here. To this. This is where you adjust it at right here. And then of course it goes up inside the cabin there. And this is how we're going to adjust this, okay? Now I'm going to try to set you up here on the stand so I can show you how to do that. It's pretty simple, okay? And I'll tell you about what I'm doing as I go along. So let me get you set up here and then we'll adjust it. Okay. Now what I've done, I've got it, I've got wheel chocks under the back wheel and I just put it in neutral and let it rest up against some chocks. It's not that it's going to roll over me, but I don't want it, if it does roll, because we're on a slight incline. If it does roll, I don't want it hitting the uh, Corvette. So, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do this without getting in your way so much. This white clip here, you have to pull it back out of the way. Now there's another white clip right, right here. And you got to pull this out and I brought a screwdriver in case I needed it and of course I forgot it but what that's going to do is that's going to pull <sighs> alright I'm going to have to go get a screwdriver because because I got to get that lifted up out of there so let me grab a screwdriver alright guys I'm back like I said before this snow 3 be careful with these plastic parts. You know, they've been in the weather. I've got some um, WD-40 here. Just some lubric lubricant to help it maybe a little easier. Okay, I got me a screwdriver. So, okay, I gotta try to do this backwards so I can film for you. Now I'm going to try to pop this clip up. I may have to get in your way for a minute, but hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just lifting this clip, and it'll come a good ways up out of here. I'll show you when I'm done what, what it should look like. A lot of times you can 
you might get lucky and just move these with your hands there okay just like that if that sides up out and this sides up out just like that now what we're going to do is we're going to go up on top and we're going to pull it all the way down into low and back into park again then we're going to come down here we got one more thing to do and I'll, well two more things but one more thing and I'll show you what that is but let's go up on top and we'll pull it down all the way into low and back up into park okay so let's pull it down into low this does not have an indicator up here there's usually an indicator right up in here somewhere okay now we're going to put it all the way back up in the park I want this to go up here doesn't still doesn't feel right but okay now let's go down under here To the transmission okay and we're gonna push this this lever all the way up in the park towards the engine and it's already in park so we may have to do this again because for some reason this does not feel right uh, up in there so there, maybe that did it. Okay. Now, make sure it's in park. Okay. Let's move it out of park. Okay. All right, let me get you set down here again. Okay, so what I did was I put it back up in park up here at the transmission. I'll pull it back down again. That's all the way in low. Now I'm going to put this all the way up in the park. Let's, uh, Make sure that's right. There we go. Now it's all the way up in park on the transmission. Now we're going to push this clip. We're going to pull the white one back. Push this white one back down in. That's what locks it in there. We have to wiggle it a little bit. push it back down in and once it does that clip will go back in there now we're going to go up on top and we're going to check and see if it goes into park right again okay so now back up in the cab we got the key on there's park I know it's a little bit of movement there but that's in this not the cable so we're going to put our foot on the brake pull it down in reverse neutral drive third second first let's get a second third drive neutral reverse and park there we go okay, let's start it up I don't know where the indicator is on this thing. The shift indi indicator. I thought it was right below the speedometer there in these O3s, but there's nothing there and I don't see anything here. I'm missing something. Anyway, there's reverse, neutral, drive, third, second low second third drive neutral yeah. 
reverse and park okay now we know it starts in park let's see if it'll start in any other gear because we don't want that there's reverse nope there's neutral it should start and it does okay now let's go down into drive nothing okay cool so again there's neutral starts right up we'll shut it off there's reverse it shouldn't start and there's park all right cool that's awesome all right let's just make sure it's there it is okay so we saved her hundred bucks on a cable well there's actually two cables it's a two-piece cable they call it but that's how you do it um, so let's go back down here and I'll show you again okay shut this off and it figures Jesus Christ all right I'll just show you again here real quick where it is it's on the driver's side right below the door there it is you slide this back pull that clip out go up in the cab pull it all the way down into low back into park make sure your shifter over there on the transmission come down make sure it pushes all the way into park and then uh, then put your your white clip back down and then slide this one back over it like that and that should be all it is so all right guys it's a hot one so that's how you adjust it everything seems fine there so we're waiting on another part stay tuned for a video i'll show you how to put an evap solenoid on this thing so shea bear the myth the man legend i'm in the sun i'll see you soon bye bye guys take care Hey guys, Shea Bear one. <coughs> hey guys, Shea Bear one thousand here today. Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're the. <sighs> hey guys, Shea. <sighs>